book lovers, students and avid readers. All come to central Tehran to look for the latest releases. And it's here, in a quiet back street, where one publisher translates Western titles. He's just finished his fifth edition of former US President Barack Obama's A Promised Land. You know there are severe sanction laws. Big American publishers don't get themselves involved in a situation that can be dangerous for them, getting involved with Iran and risking the sale of millions of copies of their books. They say they can't get involved with Iranian publishers. We can't have cultural relations with Americans or a financial relationship, not even to receive a simple permission. Staff here say Obama's book was sold out in two days. People generally like to know about everything that is going on in the world. And of course, America is one of the important ones, so people are interested to know. Outside, on the streets, there's an appetite for Western titles. Uh, Ernest Hemingway. I've read Hemingway's Old Man and the Sea, and now I'm reading Tolstoy's Resurrection. This famous Iranian bookstore has Western titles in both English and Farsi. The books are printed inside the country and not authorized by the original authors or publishers. The exception is American academic Noam Chomsky, who Iranian publishers say gave permission for his works to be translated and printed. You can find books on US President Joe Biden here, Michelle Obama's Becoming, and the book on former US President Donald Trump, Fire and Fury, all in Farsi, consumed by Iranians. But there is a downside to unauthorized publishing, especially for authors trying to make a living. British author Nikesh Shukla found out his book, The Good Immigrant, had been translated and published after a Google alert. I, I thought it's great that it has this international reach. Like, what an amazing thing for um, what I had originally envisaged as a small project. But I also thought um, that the writers should be compensated because these, you know, these are all writers who got paid a, a small amount of money for the original book. And that's uh, kind of the shame of this, um, that we didn't have any say, we didn't have any, we don't have any say on how it's been translated, how it's been marketed. The publishers we've spoken to say they'd like to be a part of the copyright convention. It would increase translation standards and reduce the number of publishers allowed to print a book. But U.S. sanctions mean many companies don't want to engage with Iran, missing out on reaching a country with a population of more than 18 million people. Asad Beg, Al Jazeera, Tehran.